Well, now that that other sporting event is over, I guess people cared about that. It's Daytona 500 race week, baby. The real sport happens now. Uh, I'm just kidding. I hope you guys enjoyed the Super Bowl yesterday, an overtime game. Uh, but yes, the Daytona 500 is six days away. Well, it could be more because, of course, it's supposed to rain on Sunday in Daytona. But before that, I've got some news to talk to you about, one of them being the Daytona 500 entry list. We're going to talk about that, see who needs to qualify for the show. And then we've got some other random news stories, Legacy Motor Clubs in the different series now. Um, uh, Shane Van Gisbergen has a new sponsor. But before that, uh, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys, I announced it in the video yesterday when I did my full 2024 NASCAR season predictions, which by the way, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. Put a lot of effort into that one. Glad you guys are enjoying it so far. A lot of you have shared your predictions with me. Some have been bold. Some have been uh, really good picks so far, really good predictions. So I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, more of you all have to say. So make sure to go check that out. But the other thing, the thing that I announced yesterday was that we are going to be doing a fantasy NASCAR league. I will put the link in the description of this video. It's out on the community post, but feel free to join our NASCAR fantasy league. I think we got like eight members already. Uh, I don't know if there's a certain amount of people that I want in this thing. I don't really care. It can be 5,000 if that's possible. 10,000, that's obviously a number that won't hit. But, you know, if we could get a good chunk of people, it'll be a fun time. I'll share the results of every week with you in the post or live stream or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's just something to have fun with the channel, everyone who watches that kind of thing. So make sure to join that league. But on to the news that we were here to talk about, NASCAR news. The first one is extremely random, and I, I don't know where this came from, but Legacy Motor Club, Cup Series team, obviously, uh, they have drivers Eric Jones, John Hunter Nemechek, and part-time, they have seven-time champion Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson co-owns this team, and he has decided to open up a new branch of motorsport with Legacy Motor Club. Is it IndyCar? Something that he's raced in? No. Is it like a monster truck or something? Once again, no, it's Extreme E. Extreme E is a off-road motorsport. I believe it's electric vehicles. I think Lewis Hamilton at one point had a team entered in there, uh, Nico Rosberg. Uh, but other than that, I don't know much about it, but Jimmy Johnson has decided with Legacy Motor Club to open up an Extreme E team. The drivers are going to be Travis Pastrana, we obviously know that name. He raced in the Daytona 500 last year, made some Xfinity and truck starts about a decade ago, but he's he's done a variety of motorsports things, even outside of motorsports. He's a thrill seeker. Uh, he'll jump out of planes, he'll drive a car out of a plane, he'll drive a plane out of a car, whatever he's got to do to give himself that adrenaline rush. But uh, it seems like him, and then the other one is Gray is it lead better or lead better? Uh, Got to be honest, I'm not familiar with that driver, uh, but they will be in the Extreme E series. That was very random. I don't know much else about it, but Legacy Motor Club expanding their horizons. How about that? Next up, we have Shane Van Gisbergen. He will be making his first full-time NASCAR series appearance in 2024. Of course, made select starts in the Cup Series and Truck Series last year. Two in the Cup, one in the Truck. And this season, he will be full-time in the Xfinity Series with Colleg Racing through a deal with Trackhouse. He will also be making seven career start or seven Cup Series starts in his new career with also with Colleg Racing and that deal once again through Trackhouse Racing. Uh, but he has a new sponsor. Well, new to NASCAR, that is. He had it as an associate sponsor in that Chicago win. They were on the C post, but now they have a primary. And that is Quadlock. I've got to admit, I've never heard of this company. I'm not too familiar with phone accessory brands, you know, the, the clips in the car or the phone cases. I've had the same phone case for like six years now. Um, I don't have a fancy device in my car to hold up my phone. Um, but this is what it seems to be. They are actually an Australian based company. So an Australian sponsor coming over from Australia with Shane Van Gisbergen 
to sponsor him on his new NASCAR journey. It's a cool story. Uh, they got themselves a paint scheme. Get yourself a look at it. Uh, SVG, they're going to make their debut, it says, on June 1st at Portland International Raceway, which is a road course, and they will be an associate sponsor throughout the season. So uh, SVG bringing over one of his Australian sponsors to the U.S. of A., and he is going to have them on the car for a few races. So that's cool to see. We already knew that WeatherTech would be one of his sponsors uh, in, I believe, the Cup Series. I know the Xfinity Series, they've already released the paint scheme, but is he also having that in the Cup Series as well? I cannot confirm that, but I, I swear I remember reading something about that. Anyways, SVG's got himself some sponsors. He's got Quadlock. He's got WeatherTech. I think Wendy's is going to be with him at one of the Cup races. So SVG, he's got himself some sponsors in 2024. So now we'll see how he does. We are just five days away from his Xfinity Series debut. That's kind of crazy. He's also going to be racing in the ARCA race this weekend. Next up, we've got, uh, yeah... We got a not fun topic. Uh, NASCAR and the teams are once again, they are still negotiating this charter deal. They have not settled on anything. They have not signed anything. It expires at the end of the year. The teams want more. NASCAR doesn't want to give up more. And they are, they're butting heads right now. Uh, but the latest report that has come out has said, members of the negotiating council for the team say they want a fair share of NASCAR revenue. Do not believe the TV deal was as lucrative as NASCAR expected and believe teams are getting shut out of licensing agreements that should be shared. Once again, this, this saga continues. They got to get something done before the end of the year. Um, but it seems, as I just said, the teams want more money. NASCAR doesn't want to give up more money. And so therefore, they're mad, mad at each other. But uh, we'll see how this ends up getting resolved. Uh, obviously, that new TV deal hit in October. November is when they announced it, or maybe later. But anyways, it doesn't come into effect until 2025. But we will see what that deal is, that new charter deal, how much share of the revenue that the teams get if they do indeed get more than what they want. Uh, but it seems that they think that the TV deal was going to be bigger and then it wasn't and then something about licensing agreements. So uh, we'll see how this ends up going. This is a continued saga that is being strung out and could potentially lead to on-track protests or something they said a few months ago. And now to the final thing, the real big topic of this video, the Daytona 500 entry list. The Daytona 500 NASCAR's biggest race is this Sunday. Well, once again, if it doesn't rain, but before that, we've got other events to set the field for the Daytona 500. We got qualifying on Wednesday night. We've got the duels on Thursday night. And then, of course, the main event, the Daytona 500 on Sunday. So in order to set the field, there are 40 spots in the field. 36 spots are already locked up due to teams having charters. But that means that four spots are available to complete the 40-car field. Well... There are 42 entries in the Daytona 500. That means two teams are going home come late Thursday night. So it's always fun to see, you know, who makes the race, who doesn't make the race. It's heartbreaking for the team who doesn't make the race, but it gives a little more excitement to the weekend, you know. Uh, usually we see 36 to 40 cars every single week. We never see them go over the 40, uh, the 40 car limit. So it's very rare we get to see a car knocked out in the Cup Series. But the Daytona 500, it always happens. So those 36 cars locked in, let me tell you them. Ross Chastain, Austin Sindrick, Austin Dillon, Josh Berry, Kyle Larson, Brad Keselowski, Corey LaJoy, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Noah Gregson, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Chase Briscoe, Riley Herbst, AJ Allmendinger, Chris Buescher, Martin Truex Jr., Christopher Bell, Harrison Burton, Joey Logano, Bubba Wallace, William Byron, Daniel Hemrick, Michael McDowell, Todd Gilliland, Ryan Priest, John Hunter Nemechek, Eric Jones, Tyler Reddick, Ricky Stenhouse, Alex Bowman, Justin Haley, Ty Gibbs, Zane Smith, Carson Hosevar, and Daniel Suarez. So those are your 36 guys locked in. But who are the six? Who are the six drivers that have to fight for four spots? Those six drivers are Kaz Grala, TBA. Wow, he sounds like a great driver. David Reagan, Anthony Alfredo, BJ McLeod, and Jimmy Johnson. So 
those six guys. I think two cars get in on speed. That means that on Wednesday, two cars will lock in on their qualifying pace, whoever the highest two open cars on. I could be wrong on that, but that's usually how it goes. Two cars lock in on Wednesday night with their speed, and then two cars lock in after the duels. But it will be Kaz Grala. It will be whoever the driver is of the number 44 NY Racing Team. It will be Jimmy Johnson, BJ McLeod, David Reagan, and Anthony Alfredo. Who will make the Daytona 500? Give me your give me your predictions in the comments. I want to see who you guys think is going to miss the Daytona 500. Uh, it's an interesting topic. It got brought up in a live stream last week, and I had not been thinking about it. But uh, I've got my predictions, but I'm not going to let you know now. I'll let you know later. Uh, so that is your entry list for the Daytona 500. We now know the open cars who has to fight their way into the Daytona 500, the guys who are not locked in in but yes that entry list is available online if you want to go see the sponsors of each car uh zone is on the eight car chili's is on the seven car chili's my grandpa loves that place good food mcdonald's is on the 23 uh monster energy is on the 54 whatever you want to see you can see it but that's all i got for you guys today as i said make sure to go sign up for the nascar fantasy league that we have started and uh, it'll be fun We'll have, we'll have a lot of fun with it, but uh, it's Daytona 500 race week. We have speed week, not speed weeks, speed week. We got Wednesday, the qualifying for the race. We got the duels on Thursday. We've got trucks on Friday. We got Xfinity on Saturday and then Sunday, if it doesn't rain, the Daytona 500. I'm so excited for it. I hope you are too. I will be doing videos after... Uh, let's see here. I'll do a video after qualifying. I'll do a video after the duels, video after the 500, TBD on trucks and Xfinity, but I'll let you know. Uh, any other news, any other updates on the channel, I'll let you know in the community post. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great rest of your day.